Oh my god, it's been so long. I think I forgot how to sit in front of a camera. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a new really welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And it has been a hot minute since I put out a video. So since I started my channel, I don't think I've missed a week. I think I've uploaded a video every single week. The longest I might have gone is like a week and a half in between videos, maybe. And I'm pretty sure I'm past the two week mark since my last video now. So this video is just pretty much gonna be some ZA Reptile updates for you guys. Got a lot of new things going on that I want to share with you guys. So we're going to be talking about some of the upcoming videos. We're going to talk about some new animals that haven't been introduced on my channel yet. Um, we're going to be talking about some big milestones for ZA Reptiles, um, some exciting things. And I've got a giveaway going on with some awesome prizes that I'm going to talk about at the end. So you're going to want to stay tuned for this whole video because there's a lot of big things happening and we're going to be talking about all of them in this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is kind of um, my upload plan, my video plan, why videos aren't super consistent for a while there is putting out like two or three videos a week. Now I'm just trying to get one out a week again. Um, so we're going to talk about why that is and what's going on. So. Basically, a lot of what I'm doing right now is a lot of upgrades, a lot of projects, and that's what I'm focusing my videos on. So these projects take time, which means I'm not going to have frequent videos because I won't have a video to put out until that project is done. So, you know, I had the um, plastic bin upgrades, making them front opening, so that took a while. Um, I had Pips Bioactive, which quite literally took me like three months. Um, Percy and Eugene's Bioactives. So a lot of big projects. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know I'm currently working on a custom background um, for an animal. So that's the current project I've been filming. And it's been a huge learning process. So it's taking me a lot longer than it otherwise should have. Cause I tried to take some shortcuts and the shortcuts ended up not working. So that video um, will kind of be like a DIY, easy custom background. If I can do it myself, you can do it yourself. Super easy, but I'm also gonna be talking about what not to do. I feel like all these DIY tortillas, I was gonna say tortillas, these DIY tor to tutorials, there we go. All these DIY tortillas, I just need to give up, I need to give up. These DIY videos, um, they're great and all, they tell you how to do something, but they don't tell you what not to do. And I'm the type of person that needs to know what not to do, otherwise I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna be telling you guys what I learned not to do along the way so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. So we are in the final stages of that process as we speak. I have been adding, as of today, the sealant coat, which is the very last thing I have to do on that background. So once that last coat is on and the background goes into the enclosure, that video will be done and that will go up for you guys. So the other reason that I have been kind of lacking on the videos is, as you guys know, I moved home. When I was, when I had moved out and I was working at the zoo, I wasn't skating. I couldn't afford to skate down there and the times didn't really work out with my schedule. And for those of you that don't know or you're new, um, I am a figure skater. I skate and compete myself, but I also coach. So when I wasn't doing that, I had a lot of free time to be making videos and editing videos. Now I have no free time. I work full time and then I'm at the rink coaching and then I'm at the rink skating. So I have like zero free time. As you can see, 
it is dark out right now. We had an event tonight at work. I just got home. It is about nine o'clock at night, which sounds early for you guys, but I'm an old lady at heart. I like to be in bed at like 8.30. So I am tired. That's probably why I can't say the word tutorial because I really just want to go to sleep right now. But I've got so many videos to put out. I slacked on getting my April, or my slacked on getting my February eco-friendly monthly favorites video out. I haven't done one of those since like June or July, so I'm very excited to finally be doing those videos again. Um, I think I'm gonna be making it just a monthly eco-friendly favorites video. That way I'm not pressured to do it every single month because when I do those videos, I buy a bunch of stuff to try out and review um, to put into the videos and that costs money. So I think what I'm going to do is just when I try new products and I really like them, I'm going to kind of write them down, keep them in my mind, and when I've got a good list, I'm going to make a video. So right now I've got a good list, so I'm probably going to try to film that right after this video because I do want to get that out. So you guys can be expecting a lot of videos from me. Um, just what's taking so long is we're in the height of skating season. I have a couple weeks left and then it will kind of calm down a bit um, and I'm working on big projects that are taking a little while. So that is why videos haven't been quite so consistent. Alright, the next upgrade are the new animals that have not been announced on here yet. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you have met these animals already. I've had one of them for a while now. They just haven't made it on here yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one of them and then we'll talk about both of them. All right, so this is the oldest of the new ones. This is Kalua. He is a ball python. I picked him up shortly before I moved. So I have had him for a couple months now. Um, he is a champagne paradox. I didn't really know much about paradox morphs before I saw him um, and then I read into them a bit more and decided that I absolutely love paradox morphs. I think they're so so pretty um, and for those of you that aren't aware the champagne morph does have a wobble like the spider morph does. Um, his isn't too bad it's hardly noticeable um very rarely do you notice it you have to really know what you're looking for to notice it with him so it's not bad um my struggle with him is the typical ball python struggle he tends to be a picky eater um so he was a rehoming situation um i didn't go and buy him from a breeder knowing that it was a problematic morph um he was being rehomed on craigslist with a couple other ball pythons this guy um, just happened to take in some of his friend's snakes. His friend was downsizing or moving or something. Um, so he took in a couple of those friend's snakes for him. But he already had a lot of reptiles of his own. Um, so he didn't really want to keep them long term. So he was looking to find them a new home. And when I saw the picture of Kalua, I absolutely had to have him. I believe Kluwa is four years old. I'll have to check my file again. Well, hello. So yeah, he is kind of a picky eater. Um, he has only eaten for me once. It was the last feeding. I don't really know what I did to make meat. Um, you guys saw Calypso's front opening tub. I did get two of them. His is the other one that you saw being made in that video. Um, actually, his was the main one that was being made in that video. Um, so he does have that other tub. Uh, it was once I put in substrate, I got him off paper towel and gave him actual substrate that he did eat. So I wanted to give him substrate to see if that kind of changed things. And it seemed to work. Um, the other night was feeding night and he seemed interested, but didn't end up eating it. So yeah, we're gonna try again next week. Um, but he hasn't lost any weight, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, so that is Kalua. 
So the other new animal you guys will not meet today. Um, if you want to see pictures of him or videos of him, you can head over to Instagram. Um, but it is a blue tongue skink. So I finally joined the blue tongue skink family. Woo! Um, I'd been kind of holding out for one for a year. Every time I saw one being rehomed, I checked it out. I asked about rehoming fees. Um, and they just never really had a rehoming fee that I was comfortable with. I know blue tongue skinks are a bit pricey, but I didn't want to pay almost a breeder's price for a rehomed skink. So I was just waiting for the right one. Um, and of course I wanted to have a good attitude so it could be used for education programs. And someone right in town was actually rehoming a lot of reptiles. And quite frankly, it was shocking for me because I always thought I was like the only person in this tiny town they kept a lot of reptiles besides your basic ones like ball pythons and leopard geckos. And so I saw they were rehoming them and I asked about a rehoming fee and there was like hardly a rehoming fee. And then what really sold the deal was for another hundred, they would throw in his 40 gallon breeder Exoterra. This is the same tank Phoenix my corn snake has, and the tank that I really, really want for my milk snake Zero. And the only reason he doesn't already have one is because of how expensive they are. And, but it's been like my dream to put Zero in a 40 gallon breeder. But I was waiting for one that had like really good locks because he's an escape artist. For those of you that are new, um, when I got Zero, he escaped and ended up in my car somewhere by the time I got home. And it's three days later that we were able to find him in my car. So I don't trust him at all. <laughs> so I was like, all right, this is perfect. For a low price, I get a skink, which is an animal I've been wanting. I've been searching for a year for the right one. And it's a good education lizard. And I get the enclosure I've been wanting for a zero for like half the price that I'd get it for in the store. No brainer. So currently that animal is being quarantined. Um, he doesn't have a name yet, I've got a couple ideas, but if you have names, leave a suggestion below or head over to Instagram because I posted a couple times there um, pictures of him, one of which I was asking for name suggestions. So open to name suggestions, I've got a couple ideas, but I haven't quite picked anything yet. Um, and he's not too feisty, he huffs and puffs a little bit when you touch him, but once he's out of his enclosure and you've picked him up, he's totally chill. Pretty awesome. I love him. So yeah, you won't see him in this video today um, because he's not in my bedroom with all my other animals yet. But soon he will make an appearance on this channel. But at least you guys know about him now. Alright, the next update I want to share with you guys is herpetology. So a lot of you know, I started a business last summer called Herpetology. So it's kind of a little shop that sells goodies and gifts and home decor for reptile moms. Because you can go to any store and find stuff for cat moms and dog moms, but never reptile moms. So that's why I started my shop. So right now, um, you can find me on Etsy. And I'm not sure if I have a link in my YouTube descriptions. So I'll put a link in this YouTube description if you want to check it out. Um, all the money from Etsy goes directly back into my animal's care. So that's another reason I started my Etsy shop because I was on a zoo salary. I did not make very much, I made minimum wage. So just to kind of help with all the expenses of owning all these animals, I started a business to make money that was directly, like that was only for my animals. And it really worked great. Um, my chameleon Eugene ended up going to the vet twice and those vet bills were completely paid for by money from herpetology. So it's been really great. Um, 2019 was a good year for herpetology and it was only a half a year technically because I started in like July or August. So can't thank you guys enough for supporting herpetology. Um, so the update I have for you guys is I haven't uploaded new products in a while. Um, I moved home and that was really crazy busy 
and I started skating again, like I said, so I have no free time. So on my free time, because I wasn't skating, I was working on herpetology stuff and videos. Now I am skating again, so I don't have that free time anymore. Um, I also, because I moved home, I'm in a small town with no craft stores. So all the places I was going to buy supplies and products and whatnot, I don't have anymore. But last or on Tuesday, I went out of town and I hit up all the craft stores while I was gone. And so I am loaded with new signs and new stuff for the shop. So in a couple weeks, when skating is done for the season and then we just kind of have our leisurely practices through the spring i will have free time again and i'll be able to put in new products so i'm super excited about that this give me a couple more weeks and i should have a lot of new products a lot of new awesome products in the shop all right we're almost done next update is i now have merch so i when i started za reptiles couple years ago when it was just Arcadius, I made myself a logo, but I didn't do anything with that logo. So now I think I've grown enough that it's time I, I do something with that logo. So I do now have merch. Yay. So I have currently um, shirts and whatnot that have the logo on it. And I also have shirts that have Arcadius on it because Arcadius was the reason that this all started and he tends to be one of the favorites so Arcadius does have his own shirt so if you'd like to have a shirt with Arcadius's face on it I have that um, so I meant to buy myself some so I could show you guys when I announced it in a video and I totally forgot so I'm in the process of getting myself merch um, but for now a picture will do. So all of the logo merch comes in different styles as well as different colors. The Arcadius shirts only come in this style, but they come in a ton of different colors. So the link for merch will be in the description below. Now the last little bit of this video has to do with Instagram. So big milestone we finally hit 10,000 followers on instagram i can't even believe that i hit 10,000 like that is huge that is like there's there's people with a lot more than that obviously but for me 10,000 damn that's awesome so in honor of 10,000 I had to do, obviously, like an epic, awesome, fun giveaway. So I decided to finally do the giveaway I've been wanting to do forever. It was inspired by my good friend Medusa. It was like her thousand follower giveaway or something. I don't know, she did it a, like a long time ago. And that was about the time that we really started to become friends. So I entered her giveaway. I was super proud of my artwork. But yeah. So this giveaway is kind of like a fan art giveaway and the prizes, there's four prizes. There will be a first place winner, second place winner, and third place winner that will be voted on by my followers. And then there'll be a winner that I pick as my personal favorite piece. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is follow me on Instagram and then create a piece of artwork of one of my animals. Now you don't have to be like a top notch artist or anything. The point is just to have fun and be creative. And you can use any medium. You can paint, you can draw, you can use markers, you can use crayons, digital art, whatever you like, whatever fits your fancy. And you just have to create a piece of art of one of my animals. 
and then you can either send it to me on Instagram or email it to me and my email is in my Instagram bio. So somehow you have to send me your artwork as your submission. And then once I have everyone's artworks, they will be posted and you guys will get to vote on your favorite piece that was submitted. Now there isn't a solid deadline for this. The deadline is when I hit 11,000 followers. So right now I'm in the 10,500 range. So we're halfway there. So if you guys are interested in joining this giveaway, which I think you should because it's really fun, then you're gonna wanna get started on that pretty soon. Um, because like I said, I'm only 500 followers away from that 11,000 cutoff. So now the prizes. First place is a $50 Amazon gift card. Pretty freaking nifty. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Second place is a ZA Reptiles logo t-shirt. So it's a good way to win free merch. And third place gets a decal of their choice from the Herpetology shop along with a 50% off Herpetology discount code. Now the person that wins my personal favorite also gets a ZA Reptiles logo t-shirt. So there's two opportunities to win free merch. So I'm super excited about this giveaway. It's been one that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So all of the giveaway details can be found on um, Instagram where I posted it and it is open to international entries. So that's all of my updates for you guys. A lot of information to cover in this video. So lots of videos to come, don't you worry. Lots of big projects also happening. Lots of enclosure updates, etc., etc. Herpetology, new products will be coming, don't worry new animals woo woo. um and my instagram 10k giveaway um make sure to definitely go check that out so as always thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video and we'll see you for the next one